Hi guys, <clears throat> this video is about Grub. Grub, let's do a reboot, has options. This, remember the numbering system, this is zero for us. E launches, so E, if you press the key, keyboard letter E, you see that you're going to install, well not install, boot from Linux N, escape. And in advanced options is the one that maybe you want. So this is a video about reordering things. Now we used to have Grub Customizer by default on our system and it is interesting, right? So have a look on our tutorials here. There are many, many videos about Grub and also one, well, not all one, but many and also prior to Arch, right? All about Arclink's Grub Customizer. How many is that in that particular playlist? We have here seven. Seven about Grub Customizer, right? And also on Linux Mint. So yes, um, there is a tool. Some say, don't use it. Others say, swear by it. They say, it's a great tool. And there's just a bunch of people in the middle, as usual. The thing is, we don't need it if somebody explains you how Grub works. So remember this is some number zero and then the trouble starts in the sense that this is okay, but it goes inside the menu. It's a sub menu and that's tricky. So I'm going to explain you something. What if I want to have the Arc Linux, well, the Linux kernel as default, rather than the Zen. I've experienced that's better for me. Well, first of all, remove the Zen, finished, right? But if you want to keep it around, okay, fine. Then you need to say something inside Grub. Where are the essentials files of Grub and Grub? It's the ETC default Grub. And remember that I talked about numberings, numbers, right? First line is actually zero. So that's a Zen kernel. Second line was actually a sub menu. So that doesn't work. It does not compute, right? But down here it says, uncommon this to disable in boot menu. Right? Uncomment to disable submenus in boot menu. If you want, if you do this, then the Zen kernel is in there. Let's first step by step, baby steps, right? Update grub, reboot. What? One change, check out. Uh huh. So that's changed. If I can now say don't boot up with zero but boot up with one, all right, we're set. And it's that simple. Two changes in etc default grub. Remember to update grub. So grub default, zero, that's line one. And one is line two. <laughs> that's the only difference to remember. And it's not logical. <laughs> But many languages have that. They start counting with zero. I don't touch anything. Et voila. The one that you want is now by default set. And you still have something in there. If it's the first line or the second line, doesn't matter. It's gonna boot up with Linux. All right, enjoy. <laughs> 